Good morning. How are you? Haven't done this in a while. Um, and as far as a get ready with me with some background music, the background that you hear is Matthew Mullins and the Man of War Church of God choir that I am a part of. <laughs> I haven't got to be there for a while, but I'm still a part of it. So if you hear them, just enjoy along with us. And if you feel like feel inclined to worship with us, do so. I'm going to get ready and talk with you a little bit. I was real disappointed yesterday because like all of us, my eyeballs are really dry, so two days of migraine, it's just ick. I'm going to let that kind of sit for a minute so I get to talk. Yay. Um, and yes, I'll do another video with Ian. And I'm not doing, I'm not depriving him. He's eating his breakfast and watching his iPad. Um, I wanted to be there yesterday. I have not gotten to be at church in so long. And I had a really good week last week until I think it was about Thursday or Friday. Um, I think it was Friday. Yeah, Friday. My brain hit. And my migraine symptoms have changed a little bit. I'm having more, like, abdominal aura, which is crazy because I've had migraine all my life. And for it to change now, it's just kind of um, crazy. But, hey, it is what it is. We're going to go in with a little painterly Mac paint pot. Go over my eyeballs. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, I was really excited because it was like finally, you know, I'd had a, a good week, hadn't really been sick, um, felt decent Saturday. Um, was sure that I was going to get to go to church. Well, storm hit. My migraines were using a little bit of heart. Let me make sure I'm not, yeah, tart primer. It is one of my favorites for just kind of filling in where there's more texture on my face, aka cracks. Um, Anyway, it was funny. We were in Lowe's Thursday evening, and um, I had a doctor's appointment, and Tom had taken the day off, so we have got some crazy running around done and some business taken care of after my doctor's appointment. And it included um, Lowe's. <laughs> Y'all know if I'm going any place, it's going to be Lowe's, Royal King, or something like that. I don't like going to uh, Walmart, but you can take me to Lowe's and Royal King pretty much all day long. Home Depot. One of Ian's current favorite songs. Trudy Toll and her daughter leading. And our choir. 
and a little bit of no poor bro no poor bloom. I'm not even sure what I just put on my face. Anyway, well, just as soon as we were standing in the checkout line and I got an alert from my phone. And when I looked down, it was from our choir director and our worship leader. And I was like, yeah, cool. You know, we got our, our set for Sunday. And I was like, I was so excited, you know. And I just happened to kind of glance down like that and I seen a little boy. And I was like, that little boy looks familiar. And then I looked a little bit, kind of like how you do kind of on the side of your eye just because you don't want to embarrass yourself if it's not the person that you think it is. So I just kind of looked a little like that and I was like, there was another little boy with him. And I thought, hmm, that little boy looks really familiar too. <laughs> and then I glanced up and it was members of my church, <laughs> um, and my pastor's grandsons actually. Um, and it was ironic because he's married to the, 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 yeah. Anyway, moving forward. Um, let's get some eyeballs on. Let's not throw stuff. This will work. I'm using a little Bobby Brown crystal drama. Just throw some stuff on. All right. I hate being sick over the weekend because it just throws everything off because you know trying to get everybody ready for work Monday. It's just crazy. It just really is. So let me take this and let's take this. The colors are on the back. I have no glasses. We're not even gonna attempt it. Anyway, when I woke up Sunday morning, the first time, um, our power was off for about three or four hours, um, having to, the hardest part about that is consoling my grandson. It just messes him up. So, you know, pep all to the rescue kudos to the man that I'm married to because he does a good job being happy. Bless you. That was one of the cats. is not really doing what I want it to do. I have to change what I wash them in. Some of them are getting, either I'm not getting them rinsed well or something, I'm not sure, but they don't want to. Spread like I need them to. Anyway, so when I woke up Sunday morning, the first time, um, kind of stumbled into the kitchen real quick and made sure the things that needed to happen were set to go as much as I could and came back and I laid down and I what, kept debating we're just backing up over to here and just taking that kind of like not, not exactly on the lid just kind of between the lid and the crease type into the crease type whatever Anyway, so as I was laying there, I was praying. I was like, you know, I'm so disappointed. I really wanted to go this morning, but, you know, it, it's a catch-22 with me. And if you have migraine, you know what I'm talking about. I have severe aura, which means that I have a visual disturbance. Um, so, I make a choice of, if I drive that way, I'm technically driving impaired. And, well, not technically, um, I am. I'm driving impaired because my vision is not like it should be. Have I done it over the years? Yes. Um, am I going to do it now? No. 
and not unless it's a situation where um, I don't have a choice. Um, because it's dangerous. I mean, it's it's every bit as dangerous as driving under the influence of something else. It's dangerous. Um, how do I know? I've done it. There you go. Um, so, as I was laying there, I was praying and I was thinking, you know, I just wish you'd take this headache away. I really wanted to go. And after a while, it became apparent that I was going to have to go, give up and take some medicine. I don't really want to use the word give up because it's not exactly the right terminology. Um, we're going to go right here. Um, but anyway, as I was laying there, just kind of eh, for a moment, or too grumbly, because I remember, you know, I can watch it, we do, you know, our services are streamed, so I thought, well, you know, I can just watch it, it's okay, you know, I, at least I can do that, you know, it's not the same as being there, but, you know, you know, as you know, Kentucky, allergies year-round, um, Find that out a little better. Anyway, so felt this tug in my heart to just pray for my church. So I said, you know what, I can do that. So I did. It's like, you know, so I started to pray and I was like, God, bless them. You know, I pray for my church a lot, often, daily. <laughs> um, I'm not bragging when I say that. That's just the truth, guys. If I tell you that I pray for you, I do. Um, it, it, I do. That's just how it is. Anyway, so as I was laying there, I started praying, and I was like, Lord, bless my church, you know, I can't be there, bless those that are able to be there, bless the ones that aren't able to be there. You know, just pour out your blessing. And, of course, you know, something that's incorporated into our lives on the daily. And if you follow me on Twitter, Facebook, or anything like that, you know, you know Ian and I have praise breaks. Um, we start our day with scripture. We start our day with praise. That's just how we do it here. Um, we, are, we are not always as consistent as we should be, but we do do it. Hang on. I'm sorry. Miss Trudy laying down some truth. You can hear her behind me. Yeah. I love the fact that we're that the people lay it down straight. Itching. Taken care of. yourself 
I browns. Anyway. As I. If you can hear what she's saying. She's talking about. Catching, finding yourself feeling isolated. And that just, that just, when I turned on the service and listened to this part of it, it just spoke right into the middle of my soul because that's where I am a lot more time than people understand or realize is isolated because I have chronic pain. I have issues that disrupt my life. We're not going to do a whole big hoopla stuff this morning. We're just going to kind of get this done. I'm going to use some L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow in 203. And if y'all remember the last time I did a little get ready with me, I told you this little beauty blender was going to drive me crazy. It is. I can't wait to order a new one. And if you want to know why I'm putting on makeup to work around the house, because I can. <laughs> no, because it makes me feel a little better. And after two days of, or two or three days of being migraine land, I need all the help I can get. one of our favorite songs that we sing here. But anyway, when we hit that moment of being isolated and, you know, when somebody else says, you know, I, because of this, and then of course, you know, Misty pops in with this one. <laughs> um, that we just kind of we just kind of let it go at this point in time because there's a breaking in my favor um because this isn't this isn't all there is to me migraine pain is not all there is to me and lately i've been making the comment that i'm over here watering my own garden and i thought to myself you know that kind of sounds a little selfish And then I thought, does it really? I'm handling me. I'm dealing with me. I love all of you. But right now, I got to work on me. It's just that simple. I've sat back and seen things and watched things happen that have just absolutely made me go, what? Um, and in that process, I've looked back and said, you know what? What is wrong with you? Not you, me. Hold on. I'm on quit competing. <laughs> anyway, I've looked back and said, you know, what is wrong with me? Why am I allowing myself to be isolated? I'm going to use a little bit if this is still any good. I may be throwing it out today. It's the old unique eye pencil. It may be too old, but we're going to try it. Um, Anyway, 
I'm saying that a whole lot because I'm out of practice of doing makeup and this at the same time, so bear with me. You see, I became complacent a few months back. Dealing with the pain and never knowing when you're going to be sick or well and being afraid. You get afraid to make plans because you don't know. You know, I'm even if I'm even afraid to make a plan with another. Um, I'd love to do like a collab or a live stream or something like that with another channel. Um, but I'm afraid to even try to commit to that now. And afraid really isn't, I don't guess, the right word. Apprehensive, maybe. I don't know. Um, maybe afraid is the right word. I don't know. But you know, I stay busy. Regardless, there's a little boy that has to be cared for. And I'll say this publicly and I don't care who it makes mad. I've tiptoed on feelings for far on tiptoed around other people's feelings for far too long. He's my priority. If you want to make him an option, you keep on making him an option. But he's my priority. And he will know that. On his own. By how he's treated. So you can take that for whatever it means to you. Will he, you know, like I said before, he'll be back on my channel. Right now he's doing something else. And that's cool. Um, he's supposed to be eating breakfast. He's probably not. He's probably playing on his iPad. I really don't care. Um, at this point. I mean, I do, but, you know, it's not worth. He's not, he's, he's eaten enough already to be good. He had to stop and take a potty break. And just a tad of blush and kind of. They fly. playing at this point. Sometimes I forget how much I enjoy playing in makeup. And I haven't done it. And I haven't done it consistently in a while. Um, used to do a lot of makeup videos. Um, they were my sparkle videos. And I'll be honest with you and tell you that I miss doing them. Um, I really do. I, I enjoyed them. I did a lot of them on Facebook. My brows look pretty decent. Wouldn't hurt to you. Wouldn't hurt to put a little bit more blend on this. Fingers are tools, guys. Fingers are tools. Gently and softly. Anyway. Um. What I wanted to get at is that I know that I'm not the only person that gets 
to feeling lonely, isolated, and alone. So remember that when you find yourself in that valley, you're not alone. Trying to explain YouTube to people that don't create is kind of hard. And I'll tell you, I'll tell you the truth. It happened last yesterday between me and my husband. And after we talked about it a little bit, um, it was actually a conversation on Twitter. And I was trying to explain to him the conversation. And in my mind, I thought, he evident he thinks I'm crazy. He thinks I've lost my mind. Um, because he doesn't, you know, he, he doesn't tweet. He doesn't use any social media. Um, he just, he just doesn't. Um, he has, if you go look on Facebook, he does have a Facebook page. I created it when I had my back surgery. Because while I was recovering from my back surgery, I was playing, what is it, Farm Town, I think. And I was doing it for a long time, and I needed extra help, so I had I created different accounts so that I could give myself gifts. Was it cheating? Yeah, it was a game on Facebook. It still is. Made some great friends through there. And that's my point, I guess. It is quickly heating up in this house. Oh my gosh. One thing I'm thankful for is a well-insulated house. My husband keeps wanting to put a fire in the fireplace and I'm like, we will die. It's like, you don't understand. We will die. Um, oh, by the way, I used the Monsieur Big by Lancome. I think it's waterproof. I'm not sure. It's another favorite. And another thing that I need to I need to clean out because there's probably some that are not good anymore. Anyway. Just wanted to Hop on, share that little bit of a hope that you got some of the thought. Um, because the biggest thing is that I don't ever want any of you to think that you're alone. We are all, um, we're all dealing with facing um, issues, problems, sick children, sick grandchildren, sick this, that, the other. Um, it's, you're not alone. We're all facing something. And if you need somebody, message me. I'm on Twitter under the mayor's daughter. Find me. If I if you just need somebody to talk to. I'm not rich. I can't I can't, you know, I can't impart that to you. Um I don't have wealth to spread around. Um but I do ha I, you know, I, I can talk to you. Um, and I don't mind a bit too. We all need to, especially me, I tend to get introverted quickly. And before I know it, um, I'm hiding and I'm thinking that people have walked away from me when in reality, <laughs> I'm the one that hasn't contacted them. So yeah, but anyway, I'm going to stand over here water my own garden I'm gonna brush this mess out and yes it is a mess somewhere along the line I've had this hair type of hair it's been long short and otherwise all my life but I've had thick hair and I've never been tender-headed until now so now um, now it's like when I have a migraine I can't brush my hair because it is just, it's too much. And I'm like, I don't know how this happened. But yeah, so the next day, it's like a mangled mess. So yeah, that's where that goes. 
Anyway, so I got to get off here and get some more things done. Yeah. I feel like I should have, I don't know, maybe angled this down a little differently. I feel short today, but that's okay. Y'all have a wonderful day. Remember, I'm the mayor's daughter. We are not alone. If you are suffering with something, you are not alone. Please don't feel like you're alone. Please reach out to somebody, okay? Don't feel like that you are alone in your circumstances because you're not. We love you all so very much from Remnant Urban Homestead, or wait, 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 Rem Remnant Backyard Homestead. I am the mayor's daughter. I forgot we changed that. Um, I like the urban part, but I like the backyard part, and I don't want all of it together. But, yeah, and I may change it again. So, there you go. Hang on. Sorry. Outro. We're done. As, or as Ian says, we're out. I'm the mayor's daughter. See you. Bye.